Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. So, here's some words on how we're being conducted. Uh, this is the definition of the word campaign. An organized course of action to achieve a goal. And that's the definition from Google search. We've got the example is as follows. The campaign for a full inquiry into the regime. Um, which happens to be a very interesting and relevant example. Um, and then number two for an example of a noun for the word campaign is a series of military operations intended to achieve a particular objective confined to a particular area or involving a specific, specified type of fighting. Excuse me. Um, an example is a desert campaign. Uh, here we go. We got a verb for the word campaign. <clears throat> Work in an organized and active way toward a particular goal, typically a political or social one. So then when I saw the word social, I wanted, to, I wanted to think about social, what they're doing with the social program and this and that. And so the definition of social goals is this. Social goals are about improving all aspects of your social connections. This includes everything from the quantity and quality of your interactions to the development of your social skills. There is evidence uh, to suggest that we are being conducted in an antisocial way. And by the way, to be antisocial, I didn't realize this until recently or, or within the past few years of being a Christian and learning about certain things. But to be antisocial is to essentially have demons on you. I mean, there's some that's a fear thing. Like you should want to engage and interact and talk and speak and have fun with other people. That's what God wants us to do. We're all children. We're all supposed to have joy. You shouldn't. A lot of times when you're antisocial, people have fear. You know, I know myself for a long time, I was very antisocial and. I was shy, I didn't want to open up, didn't want to talk, didn't think people would understand, didn't know what to do, and, you know, I mean, that's, <clears throat> again, that's not love, that's not life, that's not you even being, you know, okay with you being you. If you can't even speak on what you really believe in, then you don't even really love yourself. You know, if you really love yourself, you should have no problem just saying what you, what you feel is real to you, you know, so, regardless of what people think, um, but that's where it's all about the fear the fear keeps us from being ourselves a lot of times and the thing about the society is it perpetuates a lot of fear take a look at netflix how many horror movies are on netflix like there's so many violent horror movies that are in my opinion relatively trash because they're just like it's like there's so many of them like it's ridiculous i mean it's, it's it's beyond ridiculous it's intended to perpetuate more fear and then they have all different i mean so to continue on here all right so i'm gonna give you some examples so porn Another thing that perpetuates more antisocial, if you're sitting there looking at a computer jerking off or whatever, whatever, you're going to be less inclined to want to go out and meet somebody in real life and have an actual real physical relationship. So that's another thing that's perpetuating more antisocial behavior, which is in line with demonic behavior, which is da 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 da. So, all right, and then social media, I mean, the more that we connect with the phone and instead of going outside and meeting people, that, that's less, it's more antisocial. Like the real sociality is face to face interactions, but this whole social media wave has gotten us away from that. And now a lot of times I see people when I mean, they walk down in the streets and stuff, they don't even want to look at each other or say hi. Not everybody, but a lot of people don't. A lot of young people especially don't want to say hi to you or even acknowledge you because there's, they've been grown up to just, you know, interacting through social media. So it's like we're losing our ability. We're losing, you know, the, we're forgetting how to interact in real life, you know, a lot, especially our youth because they, they don't even know how. It's not that they forgot. They just weren't even raised in a time when that was how things were done. So, anyway, just another little example. And then the lockdowns, of course, go into all that. Um, poisonous foods. I mean, the, if you're eating things that are making you unhealthy, you're not going to have as much good and loving energy, so you're not going to be able to interact and socialize in a good way. So, yeah, the poisonous food is perpetuating antisocial behavior. Um, you know, and if you're around corrupt people or businesses, that's all stuff that goes against life. So it's going to make you less life-loving. It's, it's just going to put off less of that good energy. So, I mean, and they do these things, and that's why, like, these things that they have, like the corrupt business and all that, it has multiple effects. It isn't just about the corruption that the business perpetuates. It's also about the energy that that business emanates in the area. So, but the, the cool thing about it is, like, when we start working on good businesses, we're going to have the same thing. We're going to have not only our good products and good work and good people there, but that good energy also is going to be emanated around the area. So, just things to look forward to as well. Um, remember, all we no weapon was formed against you and shall prosper. So like all these things that are against us, they're really here to help teach us if we can look at them in the right way and stop perpetuating that which we know is wrong, which was told to us not to be perpetuated in through the good book. So it all makes sense when you break it down a simple way. It's really quite simple. <clears throat> the devil works in confusion, not God. 
All right, so then, yeah, these things perpetuate unhealthiness, selfishness, isolation, fear, low vibe mentality, so that's spiritual programming through the TV. And again, shout out to 13 Sun for speaking on the television, which is tell live vision, and also magazines, music, social media, as I talked about, signs, routines, work programs, political companies, um, etc. And then as I finished writing that, the, man, the movie Manchurian Candidate came to mind, and they've made two of these movies. The first one goes back with Frank Sinatra back in the day, second one was with Denzel Washington. I think it was made in the early 2000s. I could be wrong, but um, I'll just give you guys a brief bio because I wrote it down right here. So uh, years after his squad was ambushed during the Gulf War, Major Ben Marco, which is Denzel Washington, finds himself having terrible nightmares. He begins to develop, uh, he, he begins to doubt, excuse me, that his fellow squad members, hold on this first page, uh, Sergeant Raymond Shaw, which is Lee Schreiber, now a vice presidential candidate, is the hero he remembers him being. As Marco doubts deepen, Shah's political power grows, and when Marco finds a mysterious implant embedded in his back, the memory of what really happened begins to return. So, with everything that's going on in the world today, and all these secrets, lies, deceptions, all these veals, and all this stuff being not told to us, and all this stuff that is being told to us, I mean, that movie is like one of the, it's not... This might be the best breakdown as far as the political system, the military system, the perpetuation of propaganda, and how these certain organization of entities use blackmail, use brainwashing tactics, use trauma, use all different types of programs and scientific methods and technologies to brainwash people and get them to do nefarious, diabolical deeds. They get these people to act as puppets. They, they mess with people's souls. They use their families as leverage against them. And it's all the perpetuation of evil. Um, so yeah, that movie does a really good job breaking it down. So I encourage you all to check it out um, if you want to. So again, that's Manchurian Candidate. All right, I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.